New details have just been released from lawmakers on the next stimulus relief package. Many individuals will be able to see a monthly benefit increase very soon. Also, new crisis relief programs will be created, and this is once the bill is signed into law. So, dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video to find out if you will be able to claim this additional relief money. I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week if you would like to enter these giveaways. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. Our collective effort to shore up a vulnerable semiconductor supply chain was in limbo. Republicans said we would not move forward with what was then known as USICA, the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act, while Democrats were crafting a partisan, reckless, massive tax and spending bill behind closed doors. Then, Senator Manchin, the senator from West Virginia, made a decision that angered most of his Democratic colleagues. He slammed the door on the climate and tax provisions and reconciliation. He said, until we see the July inflation figures, which we haven't seen yet, until we see the July Federal Reserve interest rates, then let's wait. He noted that families are struggling to buy such essentials as gasoline and groceries and added, I can't make that decision basically on taxes of any type. That was what I will call the old Joe. During the crisis, the federal government provided three different stimulus checks. The payments came both during the former president's administration and the current Biden administration. As a result, many individuals are waiting for more stimulus money from Washington, D.C. Residents of California will be able to receive a fourth stimulus check. Also, those who requested emergency rental assistance before March 31st, 2022, will receive the additional relief, as the state will be providing struggling renters with nearly $2 billion in funding. According to the state's official website, the budget provides additional funds to ensure qualified low-income tenants who requested rental assistance before March 31st get the support they need. There are several other financial aid programs that have been approved in California including the CalFresh program. The federal government SNAP program is known as a CalFresh program in the state of California. This program provides preloaded cards to households so they may purchase the nutritious foods they require. But friends, you must first meet the federal income eligibility standards in order to be eligible for the CalFresh program. The Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program and the California Work Opportunity and Responsibility Kids program both aim to assist low-income families with children. The intention is to provide these families with temporary support, whether in the form of financial aid or access to services. California Governor Gavin Newsom signed California's budget for 2022 to 2023, including direct payments of $350 to $1,050 for 20 million California residents which is more than half of the state's residents. So in a joint statement from the governor and state assembly leaders, they all have stated, California's budget addresses the state's most pressing needs and prioritizes getting dollars back into the pockets of millions of Californians who are grappling with global inflation and rising prices of everything from gas, energy to groceries. 23 million residents are expected to qualify for the middle-class tax refund. The payments will be offered on a sliding scale based on income and tax filing status. Low-income tax filers with at least one dependent stand to receive the highest payouts. Just like the two previous Golden State stimulus payments, individuals who earn more than $75,000 will not receive the full benefit, but other details have also changed. Several other upcoming legislative measures may temporarily shift the price of gas before the end of this year including a proposed federal gas tax holiday. California's budget package doesn't include a suspension of the state's gas tax, which is the highest in the United States, 
at 68 cents per gallon. The budget will, however, include a suspension of the state sales tax on diesel fuel for 12 months, starting on October 1st, 2022. Friends, the keyword for this video is Grass River. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Grass River and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And friends, do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. And in a video later, I'll be announcing today's winner. So please stay tuned for that video. But friends, as a slew of historic challenges pile up on President Biden's presidency, he faces increasing dissatisfaction from within his own party and questions about his electability. This comes just months before crucial midterm election. Historic global inflation and high gas prices have driven his popularity to lows that could threaten Democrats' chances of retaining control of Congress this coming fall. But a wide majority of Democrats in a New York Times poll published this week said that they want someone other than Biden to represent them in the 2024 presidential election. Among those Democrats, the top reason that they wanted another standard bearer was because of President Biden's age, followed by his job performance. Further down the list, 4% cited his ability to win and 3% pointed to his mental acuity. At the age of 79, President Biden is the oldest president in the United States history, and his age has drawn concerns from not just within his own party, but from across the aisle. A White House official aide said, far younger than Biden have to fight to keep up with the president who works late into the night and never takes a day off wherever he is. In an exchange with ABC News this week, President Biden defended his popularity among Democrats, noting that the same New York Times poll showed that if he ended up facing off against another former president in 2024, 92% of Democrats said they would vote for Biden. When asked by this reporter what his message was to Democrats who do not want him to run again, President Biden replied, they want me to run. That poll showed that 92% of Democrats, if I ran, would vote for me. So friends, please let me know if you think that President Biden should run again in 2024. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for joining me here this Saturday. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching and listening to my videos. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Saturday.